environmentalists say mother nature is wonderful and beautiful culture is rapacious and destructive and human beings are cruel and destructive it's like it's absolutely true human beings are cruel and destructive culture is rapacious and well rapacious will do and nature is beautiful but it's only half the story because nature is doing her best to kill you constantly culture protects you from freezing and starving and human beings are just struggling to survive as well as being you know throwing plastic everywhere and being messy and so that's actually the frontier myth versus the environmentalist myth because the frontier myth was nature as untamed wild frontier the pioneer as bearer of culture into the wilderness and the heroic individual and if you put that together with the environmentalist story because they match they're exactly opposite they make a comprehensive story and what ideologies do is tell half the story so they the ideologies carry the power of the mythological understructure and that's why they can possess people they're fragments of religious belief is really that's a good way of thinking about them and unless you know the other half of the story you can't withstand them and so what i do is i teach my students the whole story it's like yes you can complain about culture and we, we use the university as an example you're just a number at the university of toronto there's 60,000 of you you can drown in the anonymity and the university doesn't care about you you're a number but on the other hand god how privileged do you want to be you have an identity that's respectable you're a student you have more free time than you're ever going to have in your life you've got money at least enough to survive you're in this rich culture you know have some gratitude for your tyrant <laughs>